What a buck. I mean, just a beautiful deer. That's my 10. Yeah. Gosh, oh man. That is a fine one here, bro. The following is brought to you by Real Tree Edge. Hunt with an edge. Real Tree Edge. All right, what's up, guys? I just got settled in the swamp. I'm right here on the edge of the river. I'm hunting two big swamp chestnut oaks in between two big bedding areas. And man, there's tons of bucks in here. And there's a lot of hogs, too. So I'm going to sit here till lunchtime. Man, deer moving all day long in here. I'm pretty fired up about it. I just killed a nice 10 pointer a couple days ago. It took a couple days off. And uh, now I'm right back after him. Oh, Mr. It is, uh, I forgot my watch. It is November the 10th. And the deer are chasing like crazy. And it's just one of those times of the year where you just gotta get lucky with a boat. And just hope one of them does comes here to feed and that bug's behind her. Oh, um, but anyway. Everything in the woods is starting to move, so I won't get quiet. Here we go. So 
it's getting right, man. And uh, they, they move late in here, so I'm just gonna sit tight and see what happens. What's up guys? Checking back in, fixing to climb down. I saw a bunch of deer this morning. Uh, saw one nice eight pointer, a bunch of does and yearlings, but nothing big. So we'll climb down and go get me something to eat and then come get right back in a tree. So I'll check back in with y'all this afternoon. This episode of Genesis Archer is brought to you by J.B. Clark Oil Company. Plantation properties and land investments full service brokerage, recreational, and hunting properties. Antler Extreme Supplemental Deer Feed. Realtree Outdoors. And Bipolar Broadheads. Alright, what's up y'all? I gotta make this quick. It's uh, breaking day in the swamp. This is only my second set in about eight days. I haven't been able to go much. Um, Dad's been out of town, so I've been having to run the shop. But it's the perfect morning and this is my first city in right here i'm on the edges of the cane thicket right here on the edge of the river and there's a lot of different bugs coming through here so i can see i mean anything this morning really i mean there's no telling what i'm gonna see so i'm excited i'm gonna get settled in so here we go
Meh. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's a freaking big bug. Oh my goodness. That's a big bug. That's a big one. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, what's up guys? I just got out of the tree. I called my dad, told him what happened, called my brother. And uh, right after that, my camera battery died on my camera, so I had to run back to the truck and get another battery. But I just got back to where I shot the buck. Um, I have not walked over to my air yet. That's what I'm fixing to do. I'm gonna walk over here, I'm gonna check my air. And I watched back the footage, and I'm not, I'm not real sure about the shot. It was 35 yards, I ranged him and I shot him a little forward. I mean, the shot initially looked really good on the camera, but when I went back and watched it, I just hit him a touch forward. And it's got me a little scared because there's really nothing there for it to hit other than maybe I caught something right here good in the front of the neck, or the back of the neck right here, or in the front of the shoulder going down to the heart. Um, you know, with that big cut broadhead I'm shooting, I'm hoping that maybe I caught something good. So I'm gonna walk over here and check my air out and see what it looks like. And I may take up the track and just slip up through there and see what I see. Um, and if it don't look that great, I may back out. I don't know. So I'm gonna go check my air out, see what it looks like. Um, the book. I get the grunt call this morning twice. And I was back over here in a tree. He come all the way down this slough to me and uh, ended up shooting him right over here. Alright, so here's my air. Looks like he went right up through here. But my arrow has got blood. He's got my broadhead in him. But my arrow's got blood on it all the way up to right there. So I got at least 12 inches of penetration. I'm going to leave that right there. All right, so here's what we got. I just checked my arrow out. The arrow looks really good as far as blood on the shaft and penetration. That looks really good. Um... It hit that deer so hard in the front of the shoulder that it knocked my light of knockout, and I don't have a clue where it went. And initially, when I watched the footage, I thought the air went through him, but what it did, it lodged in the opposite side shoulder, and when he took off, it was flapping and twirling, and I, he spun my broadhead off. So my broadhead's in that opposite side shoulder, I guess. I mean, it's not on my air. So anyway, that means when he's running, that broadhead's going to keep cutting, keep cutting. So I guess that right there is a good thing, too. So... Anyways, I'm going to take up the track. I'm going to leave my camera stuff right here. I'm just going to walk up here and see what I see. And if it don't look good, I'm going to come back. But if it looks good, I'll probably keep going. But anyway, I'll come back here and let y'all know what I find. And um, anyways, see what we can do. All right, so here's what we got. I just got back to the hit site. I tracked this deer almost 100 yards and he is pouring blood and it got to a point there where I couldn't find any more blood it was just pouring pouring and then it just kind of like it just stopped and when he was pouring it like he was running when he was pouring so I don't know if he started walking but I found a couple little drops and I just stopped and I called Mr. Mike Lopez he's gonna be here after lunch with his dog and I'm just gonna give this deer some time. I know you hear that all the time on these hunting channels and all that. We're gonna give him some time, but that shot that I hit him with, as much blood as he's lost, I, I feel it with my cell phone, but as much blood as he's lost, I feel 
I feel really good that we, we're probably going to recover this deer if I just give him some time. He'll probably bleed out. But anyways, I'm going to get my stuff together, get back to the shop, show my dad the footage, show Mr. Mike Lopez, and then go from there. So anyways, hopefully I'll have some good news for y'all in a little bit, and I'll check back in when Mr. Mike gets to the shop. All right, so here's an update on what happened this morning. I had a big old buck come in on me. 35 yards and he was fixing to get downwind and I felt comfortable with the shot. The deer was calm. I manked him and I shot a little forward. Um, deer was, I mean a lot can happen at 35 yards and when he was turning the wheel out of there I just hit him at the base of the neck and right there in the shoulder and it lodged in the other shoulder and the deer was bleeding like crazy and I got to a spot where I saw where he stood there for a minute and there was a bunch of blood and I said I'm gonna get out of here so I got out there, I gave him six hours, and we got Mr. Mike, and this is the moment of truth. I mean, this is this is what you hate as a bow hunter. I hadn't lost a deer in over six years, but I hope I don't lose this one. But giving him a, enough time to die, and that's part of it. Um, I hate it. It makes me sick to my stomach that I didn't find him in that 100 yards, but he could be 150, could be 200 dead, but we don't know. So we got the dogs, and we're fishing to go in here, and I'll keep y'all updated on the track. Come. Come. Alright, this, this way. Alright, well we got him. Thank you, Mr. Mike Lopez, for bringing the dogs. All right, well, we got him. I didn't think we was going to find him, but thanks to Mr. Mike Lopez and his dogs. They did a fine job, and uh, we, we got him. So I'm fired up. Now the, the fun part is going to be getting him out of here. I ain't figured that one out yet, but I'm fit to get to thinking. But anyways, we got him. I'm fired up, so get him out of here. Yeah, All right, we got him. Now we got to drag him. You gotta go that way. Alright. When I got my headlight on, I shine on the deer, sometimes it spooks me and it went off. You ready, Mr. Mike? What? Ready to go? And I'll stay behind you so I don't have to fight the dogs too much. This episode of Genesis Archer is brought to you by J.B. Clark Oil Company, Roach Farm and Garden, Covert Scouting Cameras, Plantation Properties and Land Investments, Full Service Brokerage, Recreational and Hunting Properties.